that. I didn't expect so much applause. This is really cool. <laughs> Yeah, it's really cool. I love I love Sydney. I love living here. Uh, but before I moved to Sydney, I lived in Bathurst. Has anyone heard of Bathurst? Yeah. All right. Yeah, Bathurst is like it's like famous for the car racing. You know, like the Bathurst One Thousand races, uh, and less famous for like the Bathurst One Thousand racists. <laughs> right. Oh, I'm half Asian, by the way. Like that's why my face is weird. <laughs> Yeah, my dad's Japanese, so uh, he flew here, he blew here, and then I grew here. <laughs> That's how it works. Anyway. <laughs> uh, I, I moved to Bathurst to go to university there, and I was there for three years. But in my first year, my first assignment was to go downtown and find out what the locals thought were the real issues. Right, and it's kind of terrifying. It's like a new place, and we went to the, like the furthest pub away from the town. And the first guy we talked to was like, "You know what I reckon?" It's like a great way to start a conversation. <laughs> and he goes, "You know what I reckon? I reckon Pauline Hanshen <laughs> should be president of Australia." <laughs> and I was just like, "Oh my god! <laughs> like this guy is so progressive." <laughs> You know, like, not only does he want Australia to be a republic, <laughs> like, he also wants a woman in charge. <laughs> I mean, it is Pauline Hanson, but, like, baby steps, you guys. <laughs> baby steps. Uh, when I was in Bathurst, I tried meth for the first time. <laughs> Woo! <laughs> yeah, so what you do, you guys. Uh, it was great, thanks for asking. But yeah, I tried meth. Uh, when I got home from the meth... Uh, <laughs> I looked it up on the internet and the first thing that came up was an ad called Meth, not even once. <laughs> yeah, I was like, oh, I guess I have to do it forever now. <laughs> That's how they get you. <laughs> but uh, this ad is awesome. It's from the early 2000s from America in the South and uh, it's just hilarious, right? It starts off with a girl and she's like innocent, dressed in pink and this guy comes up to her and he's like, hey, you want some meth? And she's like, yeah, okay. <laughs> That's how it happens, apparently. Uh, but then he's like, hey, here's your meth. And he just gives her meth. And then he's like, and here's your meth boyfriend. And this creepy guy just comes out of nowhere and puts his arms around this innocent girl. And the guy goes, and here's your meth baby. And then just throws a baby at her. And then she catches it, right? Because meth gives you really fast reflexes. <laughs> and then he's like, and here's your meth face. And he shows her a reflection and her face is all weird and her teeth are missing and she's old because she's done meth. And then it goes, meth, not even once. And I saw this ad and I just felt ripped off. <laughs> you know, like I didn't even get a meth boyfriend. <laughs> like I didn't get a meth baby. All I got was like a meth face. <laughs> you still look like Miranda Kerr. <laughs> Anyway, uh, I recently came out to my parents as bisexual. Thanks for the applause. <laughs> That's about as much as it deserves, right? <laughs> like, I, w I just wasn't planning to do it. I was like, oh, I just pretend to be straight my whole life. Uh, but then I started wearing button-ups, <laughs> like clipping carabiners on shit, <laughs> like going to slam poetry nights <laughs> and just keeping my fingernails real clean. And I was like, oh, like, they probably get it now. So I told them and they were fine. Right. Well, my mum was like, at least you're not a lesbian. <laughs> like, oh, Google it, mum. <laughs> and my dad's Japanese, so he didn't know what I was saying. But... <laughs> Still counts. Still counts. But I think being bisexual is really weird, right? It's really confusing. It's kind of like that tacos ad. You know, the one where they're like, oh, should we have hard tacos or should we have soft tacos? <laughs> And this like little girl comes along, she's like, but Quena loves dose, which means why can't we have both? And everyone lifts on her shoulders and carries around. It's like a big party. Like that's exactly what being bisexual is like. <laughs> uh, except for no one puts you on their shoulders. Everyone just like throws you on the ground. It's like, pick a fucking taco. <laughs> you little El Frico. <laughs> and speak Spanish. But like, look, it's not like I don't, like I love a good hard taco. <laughs> Like, don't get me wrong, like, I love a good hard taco. It's just sometimes they can be emotionally insensitive. <laughs> and, like, creepy. <laughs> and, like, when you eat them, like, the sauce just doesn't taste very good. <laughs> like, at least sometimes if you eat a soft taco, like, sometimes it eats you right back. <laughs> All right, guys, thanks so much.